All right, everyone, look at the beautiful snow. I didn't go driving in it yesterday, so I only took some pictures um, from up at Charlene and Joe's house. <clears throat> I'm finally getting out. They finally plowed the roads. Actually, I went out last night with um, Charlene. We went to the market, and then um, I took some pictures on the way, but now the roads are clear, the snow's melting. One big day of snow, and now it's all starting to melt, but at least you guys get to see it, the ones of you that don't have snow. Um, I wish that yesterday I had been in at Pappy's house. I didn't go get up and go with them because they go in at like 6 o'clock in the morning. And Tyler went out and built his Pappy a snowman. Now, they took pictures, but nobody got a video. I would have loved to have gotten a video. Pappy was smiling. They took a picture of Pappy looking out the window, but they said he was smiling. So cool. He was probably excited. If he was up and moving around, he probably would have had a snowball fight with Tyler. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to take you guys for a ride. I'm going to get Dunkin' Donuts again. I haven't, I only got it, I think I only got it one time since I've been here. Um, because it's, you know, I have to, oh, well, sorry that I'm going too slow. <laughs> it is past me. It's 35 miles an hour and I'm going 46 and they just passed me. Holy cow. Okay, well, anyways, it don't matter. Whatever, they know the roads, I don't. Um, not these roads up here anyways. <clears throat> so, I think last time I, last time I got Dunkin' Donuts, you guys was with me. So, I'm going to get me and Tyler a hot coffee, and um, then I'm going to go down to Tyler's Paps, and I'm going to pick Tyler up, and we're going to go grab a Chick-fil-A sandwich. Because we've just been eating whatever, whatever's available. Um, last night, I was not feeling good at all. I don't know. We, we got called into Pappy's. They thought it was the end. Maybe my nerves. It was probably my nerves. My anxiety. Um, I started feeling really sick. Oh, let me get this heat going now. I started feeling really sick. And it was my stomach. I was lightheaded. My head was killing me. I think I had a major, major migraine, which was making my stomach turn. Sometimes when you have a really bad migraine, it makes you feel like you're going to throw up. I never actually threw up, but it made me feel like I was going to throw up, and it made me feel like I was going to pass out. I was scared to death. We was in at Pappy's house, and, you know, right now, Pappy's the most important person right now. You know, this is all about spending quality time with Pappy. Um... I tried not to say nothing, but I had to say something to Tyler because I, I thought, what if I go in the bathroom to throw up and, and I pass out in there and nobody knows where I am. So, um, it, I guess it was nothing. I thought maybe I was getting a bug or something, but the headache's gone now. I don't feel like I'm going to throw up. The TV was really loud at Pappy's house. He's He ha has a TV loud when, when he's watching it, so they turn it up for him. But last night, it was super loud. And then they turned on the oxygen machine because he asked for his oxygen. And, um, you know, there was just, everybody was talking. I don't know if, if all the commotion or worrying about Pappy is what, you know, I ended up with a migraine really bad. And I didn't have my car with me or I would have just went back up to Charlene's house. So if we get called out in the middle of the night again, I'll probably take my own car that way if, you know, we get there and everything's settled down and it's okay, I could just go back up there. Because I would never ask Tyler. I would never ask Tyler or Joe to leave their, leave. it's Joe's daddy and it's Tyler's pappy. But pappy kind of raised Tyler. 
Pappy's kind of Tyler's father figure. He used to leave us messages. I'll have to record it and see if, see if any of them said, It's your daddy. Because sometimes he would say, It's your daddy. <laughs> but other times he would say, It's your pap. We got a bunch of voicemails from him. Anyways, look how beautiful the snow is. I This would probably be, besides, besides my son and my granddaughter, um, this is probably what I miss besides I miss them most but but besides them this is probably what I just the beauty of the snow I don't like to drive in it I don't like to have to be out in it because it's freezing I definitely love um, Florida um, I love it that most of the time in Florida it's warm <laughs> but this is what I miss this cemetery right here to the right that's the cemetery that Tyler's brother's at. And then Pappy's going to be buried there. Remember, remember, I guess it was in 2021 that Pappy brought us here. He might have brought us here in 2022 also, but I haven't got those videos finished. His grave is right here to the right somewhere. I can't remember exactly where it is. Or it might be up on the hill. Pappy was in the Korean War, guys. He, um... Like his, his spot and his tombstone is already there. It's already covered. And his wife is there waiting for him. Everybody's got wagon wheels. I really like them. I want some wagon wheels. They're so pretty. I guess it's kind of raining today. We're misting. Abby was supposed to come down, but I asked, you know, I told her that it probably wasn't a good idea. I was worried the roads were gonna be were gonna be slippery and she's coming all the way from Hagerstown. So I don't know if I'm gonna get to see Abby this trip or not. I hope I do get to see her. She was talking about maybe Saturday. Saturday's when we we're supposed to leave to go home. I have to see what Tyler's, how Tyler's feeling about this. Um, I don't know when you guys are going to see this video. I would like to get these videos done so I could actually post them for you guys. But um, I'm just not sure if I will get them done. Oh guys, oh my gosh. I've got so much to tell you about things that are going on. I know a lot of you probably aren't going to watch this whole video of me just driving around, but last night, and I'm trying to think of what the date is, I think, let me find my phone, where's my phone, there it is, let me see what the date is, today is, what is today, damn it, today's January 26th, so, so last night, January 25th, we got called into Pappy's. It was probably around, I don't know, 9 30, 10, 10 o'clock, 10 30, something like that. Um, we got called into Paps because they thought that that was, you know, he wasn't breathing good. He asked for his oxygen. We thought that was it. Um, Pappy told us that he saw Kathy and Wayne. And Kathy and Wayne is Tyler's parents who have both passed on. So Pappy told us, you know, I'm, I'm like curious to know who all he's seen and everything, but I'm not going to overstep, you know, this is the, the family's choice of what questions they want to ask him. Um, but he, uh, he, nobody even asked him. He just said, hey, I seen Kat, or he just said, I seen Kathy and Wayne. So that was really cool. And I thought, I thought he said, they told me to go back. But I can't remember what Stacy said. Stacy was close to him, and I can't remember what she said exactly that he said. But he saw his daughter that passed on, which was Tyler's mom and Tyler's daddy. That was just so neat. It'd be so neat to know what he's seeing, you know, during this this time, this last times in his life. It would be cool to know. But anyways, um. 
Going to get coffee? Who's in the car with me? Who all wants coffee? Dunkin' Donuts, French Vanilla. Tyler wants a hazelnut. He actually wants a hot coffee. He usually gets cold coffee. But he wants a hazelnut hot coffee. Well, I'm burning up in the car now. Holy cow. take you guys for a ride to see the snow some of the some of these houses on well some of them on this road are in bad shape but some of them are unique looking I, I think they're at the other end behind us though we probably won't go back that way I'll probably go down the highway um, Wednesday which today is I think today's Thursday so yesterday when we had the bad snow they closed the highway. There were so many wrecks over by the highway. They closed the highway off. It's crazy. There's a goodwill over there. Shoot. I need to try to find a couple suitcases because I think I think the family's given Tyler a couple of things of Pappy's and we might have to put more stuff in suitcases and put it on the, the rack on the back of my car so that we can fit some stuff in the back seat of the car. Oh my goodness. I've had so many videos scheduled to come out, you guys probably don't even miss me. <laughs> I've been, I don't even know when we, when we left to come to Maryland. I can't even think straight. We're supposed to go home on Saturday in two days. Today's the 26th, so 27th, 28th. Tal was supposed to go back to work on the 31st. He took a two-week unpaid vacation. And then they said that if he needed more time that he could do FMLA or something like that but it would still be unpaid the only way he'll get paid for anything is if Pappy, if Pappy passes he can get paid for three days of bereavement they don't pay him for bereavement until the person's passed so this is going to hurt us but we're, we'll, we'll figure it out we always do we always figure it out almost to Duncan Whoop, whoop. Gas is so expensive up here, guys. It's like three sixty-five, and like in South Carolina, it was two ninety-nine. And back where we live, I'm trying to think, it was like three o six or three something. It was really low, like less than three ten, I think. All right, we're at Duncan. I'll be back. Jeez, everyone, I thought I lost my keys. Just freaked me out. My hair is all over the place. Oh my gosh. I think I needed my hair tied down or something. It's flying. I mean, she might go in there. Like that girl Kylie's working. She's so sweet. She wasn't taking my order, though. My hair was flying. It looked like crap. Anyways, the um, my coffee wasn't... It wasn't cold. It seems like every time I get, de I get decaf coffee because there's so much creamer and sugars and stuff I, that I get the caffeine from. So I get decaf or half-calf sometimes, and 
It's like the coffee's always cold. It wasn't cold this time. It was lukewarm, but heck, by the time I get down to Cumberland, I'll be microwaving this damn coffee. So, it's not too bad now. He, he Kylie's like looked at the guy and told him, she, she's like, make her a new cup. Oh my God, it's so good. I get the French vanilla with extra cream and sugar, but I get a decaf. <laughs> And it is so delicious. All right, we're headed down to Cumberland. Guys, I went into the Dollar General the other day and they had all their Christmas stuff for 25 cents. Everything was 25 cents. They didn't have much left, but I got a couple of 25 cent things. Let's see, okay. All right. To the right guys is Frostburg. I used to live up there one time, after, once after my house burned down. I actually loved living up there. It was really, it was a lot colder up there than it is down here. But I really liked the place we lived and everything. I liked my landlord. And then we re, we, we kind of rebuilt our house and then we moved back down. Cause that was right, that was after our house burned. When our house burned, we, we moved, I'm trying to think, we stayed with him. We stayed with my sister-in-law and then we, a friend of ours let us stay in their place and I think we might have stayed there for, I'm trying to think, how long did we stay there? I don't know. I think we stayed at a friend of mine's place for a few months and then we, another friend of ours rented us a place for a year and then we ended up going to Frostburg for another year and it took, it took a while, you know, our insurance company screwed us over on the homeowner's insurance. So we ended up not having insurance because when our mortgage got sold to another company, they never carried over our homeowner's insurance. So when our house burnt down, we thought we had insurance and we did not have no insurance. So we had to like rebuild the house on our own. We ended up having to get a small loan and just rebuild it just to make it livable. Look to the left, guys. The left of that building. There's a big old greenhouse there. That's a nice greenhouse. Watch as I turn the corner. Oh, there's a couple of them. Look at that greenhouse. Boy, I would love to have that. That one's too big. This little one's cute. It's still probably too big, but it would be nice to have one. I'm trying to build a greenhouse. And, um, that one's really nice. That one's just plastic. It's just metal bars and plastic. I could have probably made something like that quick. But I was just trying to use all the free stuff and trying to make it look a little nicer. Oh well. Didn't get it done before the cold. Alright, so we are headed down to Cumberland. I don't know how you guys feel about these, these driving videos. All I do is talk to you guys and you're watching the street. Straight ahead, up on that mountain, there's houses. You can you can kind of see them. Um, you can see kind of see where it levels off in a couple of spots. And there's houses up there. And let me tell you, some of them houses are so beautiful. And the overlook, looking down here, it's gorgeous. Very gorgeous. Tyler might be able to take us up on the overlook. I'm going to pick Tyler up and we're going to go get a sandwich from Chick-fil-A. We'll bring him a coffee and we're going to get a sandwich. We probably won't get the meal. We'll probably just get the sandwich. This is the first time my car has ever seen snow. 
or ever been covered in snow or anything. Yesterday they kept telling me not to drive my car. I'm like, front wheel drive is the best thing to have in the snow. Besides four wheel drive, you know. They kept saying, no it's not, no it's not. I'm like, yes it is. And I, I told Tyler, I said, I bet you 20 bucks. If I look it up and ask, is front wheel drive or rear wheel drive better? It will say front wheel drive. And he swore it wasn't going to. I said, yep, you owe me 20 bucks. It was funny though. I said, Tyler, don't you know that I'm always right? <laughs> Oh goodness. It's funny. Of course four wheel drive would be better, but nothing is good if, if you're on if you're on I if you're on ice or black ice. So nothing is good. I get nervous when it's when the grounds are wet. I mean, I just get nervous going around corners and everything. I'm always that person that slows down and pisses you off. <laughs> like this corner right here. There's been so many wrecks. Even when I lived here, there's so many wrecks on this corner right here. Dude, you better go around me. See, I get so nervous that my car is gonna slide when I hit this I, when I hit this water. Now I got a guy riding my bumper. He better just get around me. Yeah, I'm from Florida, dude. <laughs> he backed off. But yeah, this whole highway was um, closed down. I'm trying to think of where they said. Oh, a truck slid into another truck. I thought it rolled into another truck. And that's exactly how it was how it was listed was it rolled into another truck. But it only, you know what I mean? It didn't like flip over and roll. It just rolled or slid because of the um the ice and stuff. Look at the mountains in front of us. Isn't that beautiful? See all those flat spots up there? You can see there's houses. It's gorgeous. The one to the right, that is, we looked, that was our overlook when we was up on up Pappy's Irons Mountain. It's pretty cool. Oh my. So I guess Pappy's doing about the same. Last night they thought he was taking a turn for the worst. He was having a hard time breathing. You know, he asked for his oxygen. Um, they had him on the oxygen and he pulled that off. He said, I don't need that. I'm a, I don't need that. <laughs> so, you know, he didn't want it. That was okay. But now last night he asked for it. road feels so small. It's like that, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess a tractor trailer's in it, so it's not small, but boy, does it feel small. And I have a small car. Only persons I went to see guys was my um my son and daughter-in-law and then Marcus of course but other than that I mean I have friends here but you know nobody goes out of their way to see me and you know I'm not here for stuff like that but I mean I'm, we're here because of pap Tyler's pappy but nobody goes out of their way to see me nobody goes out of their way to to even send me a text so I mean, I, it's just, it's just ridiculous, so, it's 
just ridiculous. Nobody goes out of their way to see me, so why should I go out of my way to see them? You know, I haven't heard from anybody that, that knows I'm up here. I heard from Lisa. She's down in Baltimore, my best friend, and um, Marcus, and my, my son. I want to go over and play the slot machine. I just want to go over and put $5 in, but then I keep thinking, I can't waste $5. We might need it for a sandwich, or we might need it for whatever, 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 you know? My VIP card for Dunkin' Donuts, I get a $2 extra large coffee. It doesn't work down up here. They don't take it. We're not participating. Well, that's just stupid. So my coffee was like $3 and something. So that's why I haven't got one every day. This is only the second one. It tastes good though. It tastes real good. Good thing nobody was behind me. Why didn't y'all yell at me and tell me to go? <laughs> the light was green. I'm just sitting there sipping on my damn coffee. Cruising down Old Town Road, guys. Sorry, I totally just blanked out there. 372 for gas there. It is so crazy. I only got $20 yesterday because I thought that's a lot of money for gas. I'm hoping I, I can figure out how to time it right and I can get gas in South Carolina where it's $2.99 a gallon and fill up, you know, make sure I need plenty of gas then and just fill up that tank. Sometimes it's hard to time it that way. You have to stop and just, what, pump 20, 10 or $20. Old Town Manor, guys. Okay, dude, my goodness, you could have gotten your own dang side of the road. What the heck? What is wrong with people? I guess we're going to have to park right here where it says no parking. It's a parking space, guys. You're just not allowed to park outside of the parking space. Alright, I'm just going to text Tyler and say, hey, I'm here, come on. Oh, he's coming. There he is, guys. I don't know if you'll see him, but no, oh, he's on my side. Oh, there he goes to that side. There's Tyler.
Hi, baby. Hi, baby. I was like, what the hell did she just say? Hi, baby. I thought you said, guess what, baby? Oh, was like, oh, what happened? oh, push this back so it doesn't fall down. I oh. guess we're gonna make one big trip. I guess we're gonna go to Chick fil A. We'll grab our food. And what? Pay out to Joe's, grab our stuff, because we're staying here. Joe, Sue's gonna go home. Okay. Me, you, and Stacy, and Sammy's gonna stay there. So you'll probably sleep on the couch, I'll sleep on the other end or something. I never record. I have never hit record. Oh. All right, everyone. Sorry that I turned that off so quickly. I wanted to talk to Tyler. Some privacy matters. And um, tonight we're going to spend the night with Pappy. And, um, you know, because we're leaving here on Saturday. Or Saturday or Sunday. I don't know which one Tyler wants to leave. But anyways, um, we're going to spend the night with Pappy tonight. And um, maybe I'll, you know, I'll take some pictures. I'm not doing much video. But, you know, if we get a moment where he wants Tyler to hold his hand again. That was just amazing picture. Um, I'll probably take some pictures. I hope you enjoyed the ride through LaVale and up at Dunkin Donuts and back down to Old Town Manor. Um, I will see you on the next video. Peace guys. Peace.